Okay, hope you guys can see good on that. And I hope I don't knock you guys over or down or anything. Uh, and I hope it stays. I don't know how many times I've adjusted this stupid thing. This is just a small test batch um, that I'm doing here. Right now I'm doing cool citrus basil. And I already um, did this one time before, but um, I changed my recipe, so I just want to do it again, and it smells really neat. So, yeah. Wipe out my mold real quick. Looks kind of odd. Alright, so hopefully you guys can see. I don't... It's going to take some getting used to doing this thing. I need to get like a stronger tripod because the one I have just isn't going to cut it, I don't think. Yeah, see? That's probably moving you guys, isn't it? Just a tad, huh? I think you guys have zoomed in too far. I don't know. We're going to try that out and see how it works. <laughs> My girls are asleep just in the next room, so I don't want to be too loud. I'm going to attempt to split this into three colors. If not, I might just put it in one color. So, I mean, two colors. But I have an idea in mind. I'd actually like to do four, but... With a small batch like I'm doing right now, it's kind of difficult to do that many colors. So I'm just making sure I'm not forgetting anything. I'm going to add in my lye water. Um, colorants that I'm using are from Soapbox Bath and Body Supply. Hopefully that's enough. I always start with just one little scoop of these. I've got my neat little... Uh, bath bombs in the back there. Hopefully I have time to get to that tonight too if I don't run out of dishes. Um, I'm probably going to have to go wash a couple of bowls to make the bath bombs, but I really wanted to get these soaps done. First, so I've got neon, yellow, crayon orange, and shamrock in here. And then I'm getting some emerald green glitter on top that I got from Plus all supplies plus. So I need to get a smaller, thinner spatula. I had some, no idea what I did with them. So I'm just going to start mixing this in. I used to pre mix all of my colorants before, um, and then I just stopped. I found a recipe that I absolutely love and it gives me plenty of time to work for the most part unless I'm working with some kind of crazy fragrance or something so I very rarely pre-mix my colorants anymore I just prefer not to it takes up so much more time when you have to pre-mix and do all of that stuff so this is the way I do it and this is the way I've been doing it for a while. Gonna... Yeah, I think we'll be alright. I'm gonna pour about half of this in. Leave a little bit. I already making a mess. My green doesn't seem to be too thick here. I'm going to use the yellow since this could use some brightening up anyway. This one's not quite as thick as the rest, but what can we do? Go ahead and drop this in. something different here. See how it comes out. Now I gel all my soaps, so 
kind of takes a bit to get the heat rising um, for these. I'm not sure how I want to proceed here. I've also got my recipe formulated pretty decently to fit in all of my molds. I have um, the printout from Soap Calc for just about every mold. I know that's something that a lot of people struggle with, but I use the Soapy 101 video, whoops, that she has out. Um, I don't know the exact name, but it's something about how to determine your batch size, and that's how I get every single one of my um, things. I mean, now I can pretty much just look at it and see. Well, if it's a one pound mold, then this is the recipe that I need to use. But before I couldn't do that. Before I used to take the time and actually measure everything like a silly and do it that way. You guys ever watch those soap videos? Uh, or the soapers at the last of the, the barrel like this and then they don't scrape the bowl. And then they have all this soap sitting there um, at the end and it just kind of irks me because it's like so much soap there. Like this was empty when I poured it and then look at how much soap I can get out of this right here. I mean even still for samples or anything it just boggles me, mind boggles. But, yep. There's that. I hope I don't run out of spatulas. That wouldn't be good. I shouldn't. Looking at getting some wholesale spatulas as well for us at Bath and Body Supplies. I never think about my tops when I'm doing them. And I always end up with a really muddled, crummy looking top. And I've been wanting to do the one zigzag thing. I don't, I'm not really sure what it's called. And I never remember. So I always just start pouring stuff. And I can't do it. Because I'm not prepared for it. The one that goes like this. I really want to go back down again. Alright, I'm just going to leave that like this. Real simple. A little bit of glitter on there. Clean up my edges. Kind of bummed out about that green. It doesn't really suit the the look of it. But maybe that'll come back. I don't know what I did with my little glitter sifter thing. Oh, one of my little spoons would be perfect. But I'm just going to do this. Hopefully it... This is actually a really bright green. I just suck at doing the glitter. Always ends up all chunky in one spot. Really need to get some of those glitter poofers. Uh, see how bad I suck at this? Well, there's that. So, there is cool citrus basil. It smells pretty yummy. Alright.